Welcome back to another Roblox Studio tutorial. In today's video we're going to be taking a look at player collisions and how we can trigger different things to happen when two players collide. Okay so what's going to happen in this video is when one player touches the other it's going to trigger an animation to play. Let's go ahead and dive in and see how we can do this in Roblox Studio. Okay, so what I'm going to do in this video is show you where to put all the scripts and then I'll briefly go through each one to kind of describe the general process of it. I'm not going to go through line by line because that would just take too long. Also, what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave a link in the description to a website I'm working on where you can just copy and paste the code that you need. This website is still under construction, so feel free to browse around, but a lot of things still aren't complete yet. But I will leave a link to this page in the description for you to copy and paste this code. Okay, let's go ahead and head back and see where we need to put all the scripts. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is under the Explorer menu and under Replicated Storage, go ahead and add a remote event. Then under Server Script Service, we're going to add a script and then we can take a look at this one. So the main purpose of the script is just to add a script that we're storing under Server Storage onto each part of the player. So the player is composed of parts and mesh parts. And what we're doing is we're adding a script to each part so that we can look for touch events. So that's all this one is doing. And then under server storage here, this is the script that's going to be placed under each part in the player model. So what the script is doing, it's looking for touch events on different parts of the player. And this will happen when it collides with another player. An additional thing we're checking for is once a touch event is triggered, we're checking to see if that other part is a humanoid root part. That way we don't have these collisions happening with other objects. So this is only going to happen when whatever other object you're colliding with has a humanoid root part. When we have those two conditions, when we have the touch event and that other object has a humanoid root part, then we're going to fire a remote event. And that remote event is linked to a script that we have under the starter player and the starter player scripts. And this one is a local script. So whenever that event is fired, it's going to trigger a function to run. And what that function is doing is playing the animation. So this is very similar to a script that we did in a prior video where we did animations. So in this script, the only part you have to worry about is updating your animation ID. And if you're not sure what I'm talking about, please take a look at the other video. And those are the three scripts you're going to need to make this work. So in total, what you'll need to do is add a remote event to the replicated storage. Add a script to server script storage, which is going to add another script to the player when they join. This is the script that's going to be added to each part of the player model. And then this local script is what triggers the animation. Okay, and like I said before, all these scripts are going to be on my website, which I'll link in the description. So you can just copy and paste these into the correct locations. And just as a fair warning, this is something I'm still working on. So this script will probably have some bugs. If you notice something weird happens when you run this code, go ahead and post it in the comments if you want and that way I'll know what to work on. And if you guys have any suggestions of what I can do to improve this, go ahead and leave that in the comments as well. This is going to be the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed and stay tuned for the next one.